Hey everybody, this is Rob Keens with GoldSilverPros.com. It is Monday, May 23rd, 2022, and that means it is Mining Stock Monday. And as we do on the channel on Mondays, we cover the mining stocks for those of you that like to uh, invest in the speculative end of the gold and silver precious metal sector. We bring companies that we like that we think have value and have a value proposition, but are value bets now because they're underpriced, which much of the mining complex is right now. And we think that's going to go up given what's happening in the world. And the overvaluation of the rest of the stock market is going to be looking for returns. It's going to be looking for value somewhere else when you get that flight to safety. That'll happen as gold continues to go up in its bull market. The company that we're covering today is Gold Mining Inc. Now, I've covered this company before, and I think they still have a similar value proposition as they had before. But I think they're even more attractive, given the low valuations that the company has compared with the assets they have in the ground in compared with where we think the gold price is going to go. And we're going to talk about that on the program. So I'm going to launch right into it. I'm going to start with their slide deck because that's where you get a lot of information from the company. And this is really uh, explains the amount of metal that they have in the ground. They have about 32 million ounces. And the mathematics of the value proposition for this company is that their market cap is right now trading between 225 and 230 million. We're going to say 227. They also own Gold Royalty Corporation, which has a value of 83 million. And they have a cash position of $8 million. So if you subtract out their other major assets, the gold royalty position and the cash position, then you have the separate valuation of Gold Mining Inc. of $138 million for the market cap. They have the 32 million ounces of indicated inferred ounces, as you see here on the screen. If you divide $138 million specifically for Gold Mining Inc., minus those other properties, the G-Roy and their cash, by the 32 million ounces, then you get about $4.30 per ounce of gold. That's right. If you're wanting to get inexpensive gold ounces in the ground and you're simply looking for a company that has it, that's about $4.30 when you separate out gold royalty and when you separate out their cash holdings. So it's really cheap to get into this company right now. You're not paying very much less than $5 an ounce to get into the company. And that in itself speaks about the value and speaks about the, the mining complex. A lot of the mining complex is like this, where you can find deals of companies that have established ounces in the ground, but it's not going to cost you a lot of money. Now I want to fast forward to slide seven. And this is probably the most important slide in the deck because back when Gold Mining Inc. acquired all the properties that they have now from the companies that they did, the peak market cap from 2010 to 2012, when gold was at its high of 1900, was $850 million. You can see that here at the top. Now, gold is almost back at 1900 and certainly has gone above. And yet the valuation of gold mining Inc. is somewhere, like I said, between 225 and $230 million. It fluctuates a little bit based on daily trade. So they acquired for about a tenth of the original value of these companies, $81 million, $850 million worth of projects that are only sitting there for $225 million. And if you subtract out gold royalty, um, then it's even cheaper than you would expect. So these are projects that have established ounces that were valued last time gold was up about $1,900, $850 million. We think that uh, that the company Gold Mining Inc. should be valued at a lot more than that, a lot more than $850 million, because you've got this, you've got Gold Royalty Corporation here, and you've got some other value creating initiatives that they have, which we can get into in the next presentation. Uh, going to slide eight, we want to talk about who owns the company. So it's important to note, one, that a lot of big shareholders own the company. You've got KCR, you've got Rupert Gold, of course, you have Sprott Global, BlackRock, which is heavily invested in the space and knows what they're doing. Uh, the GDXJ Vinick ETF holds them, so you can get into them by getting into the GDXJ, or you can hold them directly. If you want the leverage, you hold uh, the company directly. Commodity Capital, Marin Katusa, who is also a big investor in the space, Oppenheimer Holdings. So there's a lot of big entities in the market that believe in this company and believe that it is a good buy. Of course, they've got a lot of analyst coverage, Haywood, H.C. Wainwright, Laurentian Bank Securities, Roth, Colin Healy. And here are the people that cover them, Colin for Haywood, Heiko for uh, Wainwright, Barry Allen for Laurentian, and Joseph Rager. So you can go look at their analyst report, and I'm going to show you a section of their analyst report here in a moment. The ownership is very, very important. There's some other things that are important with regards to this company that I wanted to talk to you guys about. 
And that has to do with who's running the company. It's run by Admir Ednani, who has a track record of success. If you look at Uranium Energy Corp, which is ticker UEC, his uh, return from March 2020 to present is over 1,000%, 1,035%. And from July 2021 to present, it's 189%. So it's done very, very well since the pandemic with other companies, Uranium Energy Corp. And then Uranium Royalty Corp, which is a company we've also covered on our channel and interviewed Scott for that company. They've had an 875% return since March of 2020 and 153% return since July 2021. Why do we bring that up? Well, when Uranium went into the bull market, the companies that Amir Adnani owned went into a bull market of their own and offered a leverage return to the actual price increase you saw in the underlying commodity, which in that case would have been uranium. So the same thing here, Gold Mining Inc. is going to do the exact same thing, we think, because the valuation, the, the assets it required, right now the whole the mining complex is undervalued. When gold pops again, gets back to 2000 again, which I think is going to happen, given everything that's going with the Fed, everything that's going on with the international economies, geopolitical situation, gold's going to go back up. And when it does, Gold Mining Inc. should go up it should lever up much like Amir's other projects did in the uranium sector. It's basically the exact same value proposition, we think, in any case. Uh, and Gold, Gold Mining Inc. also has a history of going up when gold price rises. When does the gold price rise? 100% of the time in the history, when the Fed goes on a rate hike cycle, which they are, you know, from watching my channel, they've gone up uh, three quarters of a point this year, a 0.25 and then a 0.5 hike. They said they want to do uh, between five and six more hikes, as well as tapering their balance sheet of treasuries. When that happens, we expect gold to go up. What's going to happen to Gold Mining Inc.? Gold Mining Inc., having established 32 million ounces, is going to go up with it. Remember, it's only $4.30 right now to get a gold ounce in the ground with this company. Let's look at December 2013 to March 2014. There was a 164% increase in Gold Mining Inc. When Gold Spot went up 11.49%, that's a 10x leverage. From January 2016 to September 2016, uh, it went up 665% when gold went up 22.65%. That's a 30x move. In December 2018 to February 2020, uh, the stock went up 150% compared to gold spot 26%, which is a 5x move. In March of 2020 to August 2020, uh, gold mining Inc. went up 218% compared to gold spot of 36%, 7x leverage. So it's averaged between 5 and 30x. When gold goes up, gold goes up when the Fed hikes rate. What is what is the Fed doing? It's hiking rates. So that's exactly what we expect to happen. And so too, it makes sense that the analysts, the major analysts I showed you a minute ago, think very positively about the stock. And I wanted to show you one prediction from H.C. Wainwright, which is one of the major companies that are covering Gold Mining Inc. Again, ticker GLDG on the NYSE. This is a New York Stock Exchange listed stock covered by Heiko. And the rating is a buy and the price target you can see down here on the bottom of six bucks right now it's in the the dollar to two dollar trading range you can get it for six bucks i would believe it'd be valued at six bucks hc wainwright does because of that value proposition that i was talking to you about again you can get gold for about in gold mining inc the gold ounces in the ground for about four dollars and thirty cents uh the previous the acquisitions and the gold that they have now the 32 million ounces previously were valued at 850 million the company is currently valued about a quarter of that and then if you add in the valuation of Gold Royalty Corp, it's worth a lot more. What is Gold Royalty Corp? It is a royalty company formed by the same management, Gold Mining Inc., for the royalty interests to make money on streaming on uh, the properties in this Gold Mining Inc.'s portfolio and potentially some others as well. So we think the value proposition is there. We want to restate it. And it basically goes like this. They have a market cap minus gold royalty and cash of 138 million divided by the 32 million ounces, about four dollars and thirty cents in the ground. Uh, the value of their, their holdings during the last gold bull market was 850 million. We think it's going to go much higher than that because I think a gold will go much higher. It's owned by all these major institutions, including Sprott and BlackRock and a lot of others. Uh, the management team is very good. They've had returns in other stocks, specifically uranium, when it hit a bull market. Uranium Energy Corp up. 1,035% since March of 2020, Uranium Royalty Corp up 875% since March of 2020. So when the underlying commodity goes into a bull market, the companies that Amir is involved with go up as well. And we know that Gold Mining Inc. has already done that. I give you four instances in 2013, 2016, 2018, and 2020, when gold went up and you had anywhere from 5 to 30x leverage. We know that gold goes up when the Fed hikes rates and has negative real interest rates. Both are true in the economy. We have negative real interest rates. 
because we have a CPI of 8.3% and, um, and our interest rates on the bonds are somewhere between two and 3%, depending on what you're getting. So if you look at the 10 year, it's about 2.9. So you're getting a positive of about 5.3 or 4 uh, percent or negative 5.3 percent uh, interest rate, which is bullish for gold, along with the Fed uh, rate hikes. And you saw that's where the analysts covered them and thought that gold mining is probably worth six bucks in a regular market. Right now, it's an undervalued market. So again, wanted to bring the update for Gold Mining Inc. We think it's a really good company. I wanted to bring it back to you again. Don't sleep on this one. Don't forget it. It's one of those we think that's a value proposition. You buy it, you hold it till the gold price goes up. You're going to realize again, you're going to sell out. You know, some of your holdings maybe hold the rest, depending on how you want to do it. You know, be your own financial advisor. This is the way I look at it. You know, do your own research. But that's a really good value proposition for people looking for leverage to the gold price in stocks with a track record of management and track record of stock price from gold mining that's done it before. Again, I still think we're in a gold bull market, negative interest rates, Fed uh, hiking rates, gold's going to go up, so is gold mining Inc. And I don't think it'll take too long. I think we'll start to see that this year. I don't think gold's going to hover around, you know, 1825 to 1875 like it has. I think we're going to hit another leg. And that's going to be because of the rising interest rates, the rising bond rates, the opportunity value uh, for people you know, wanting yield and needing to get into value somewhere in the market because the tech sector is crashing, NASDAQ crashing down. Uh, all that money is going to flood back into the gold stocks and it's going to flood into gold. And I think it's going to be positive for Gold Mining Inc. It's one of the examples that we bring to you on the channel of a really, really good company that we think is going to do well. All right. That's going to wrap up this Mining Stock Monday. I hope all of you have a very blessed week. We have a lot of content out on the channel this week, guys. I've got a lot of interviews for you. I won't be doing a live this week because I'm out of pocket taking care of some personal business, but we lined up a whole range of interviews for you this week, talking about gold and silver, talking about macroeconomics like we do, talking about cryptos and lots of other things. So stay on the channel. Uh, we'll continue to bring you that great content. And don't lose sight of the fact that we're in a gold bull market. Everything macroeconomically and with Fed policy indicates that gold and silver are going to get more valuable in the very, very near future. And if you want to get leverage to that, owning mining stocks is a good way to do it. Till next time, this is Rob Keens with goldsilverpros.com.